All right, so how y'all doing? Here's the windshield frame to the old Jeep. You can see got some rust in it. It's not too too bad. Um, someone broke some barn door hinges to hold the vent on. They punched a couple holes in the top. Couple random holes and stuff. Here's the roll bar. I got some cleaning up too. I'm wanting to get rid of all this torch slag. Give it a good gloss black finish or something. Pretty rough down in there. That's the worst of it. The thing I'm gonna do though is might just cut this whole thing out and replace it. I don't know exactly what to do. As you can see, it's eat up in there. But I gotta make some decisions here. All right, I've been studying on it. I think, I think I'm just gonna cut this whole thing out and replace it. Cause it's got some serious rust all along in the bottom. That's gone. And I'm not too, I don't like that. Here's the piece right here and saw screwed up and not to mention this is not even the original windshield frame this is a 51 cj 3a so it's not really a huge deal to me that i mess it up so i think that's what i'm gonna do all right here's what i got so far I got the edges split up. Got all my cuts marked where I'm gonna cut it. Same with this side. So basically, I've ordered a Willie's stamped piece of steel. It'll go right here in the middle. And I'm just gonna do away with all of this. No more vent. I don't need a vent. So that's the plan. Here we go. All right, here's what we got so far. Got these pieces cut out. Pretty bad, pretty bad rust. This was the worst side. Right here, I saved that because I don't know how I could recreate that as easy. Same on this side. Pretty eat up. A lot of pitting. The top's actually pretty good. Of course, I've still got this in the middle. And I'm probably going to keep that in the middle until I get my uh, Willie's patch. Here's the pieces. I hammered them flat. So I can trace them out on some steel and cut them out. Basically, I'm trying to make a 46 windshield look alike, anyway, where it looks more like the original instead of an M38, which is not an M38, but it looks like an M38. So, yeah, that's what we got so far. All right, so here's what I got so far. Finally got that piece as the wheelies. Finally got it in the mail a couple of days ago. And uh, the good news is it actually was bigger than what it said. It said it was going to be eight inches, or sorry, it said it was going to be seven inches, 
and it turned out to be eight inches so I didn't have to use none of the original lower half like I thought I was going to have to so now I can just roll that over and then went to track supply bought me some pieces of 18 gauge that were about the right size and traced out my original pieces and I think the only trouble I'm going to have is getting that to want to stay flush. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to weld that up. Weld all these seams and then take the screws back out and take this piece off and then grind the back side of it down so I'm not having to try to get a grinder up inside that tube knock that weld down that's the plan anyway but I don't know yet I got these little clamp deals holding the metal straight with each other I want to make this one whole sheet and then I'm going to weld it up at the top I'm going to punch me some spot weld holes all along here all the way down and get all that welded then I'm going to start rolling this over and sewing it up that's the plan but uh, I think I'm going to end this video here I'll catch back up once I start welding but thank you all for watching bye